Hey guys, this is Undercover Dudes, and today we have another episode of the best free-to-play browser games of 2021 and beyond, your best news source for new and upcoming browser games. You guys loved the last episode, and yet again we're only featuring new browser games, and believe me, there are some awesome games that I'm going to show you today. If you're excited, make sure to hit that like button for the YouTube algorithm, and subscribe if you haven't already. Only 12% of you guys watching right now are subscribed. So hit that sub button if you don't want to miss out on any new browser games. Starting out this video, we have Kirka.io, and this might be the next new browser shooter to play right now. Visually, it's obvious this game is going for the blocky Minecraft style, even more so than Krunker, and it pulls it off quite well. Gameplay wise, it's very back to basics with no slide hopping or anything like that, just standard movement mixed with pure smooth gunplay. The maps lean into this simple and straightforward idea as the maps are just really easy to pick up and the guns are too, there's 5 to choose from and you can swap between them between lives. While Kirka is a very new game, it has a decent amount going for it. Let me know if you want more videos on this game in the comments section below. Next up, we've got SquidsGame.io, a browser game based off the hugely popular Squid Game TV series, and this game is crazily enough built in Krunker.io. This game is awesome. You of course play green light, red light, but there's also a parkour level and then some other levels from the show, like the glass panels one. But the visuals and just overall feel is what really shines here. The characters, levels, UI, music and general graphics are awesome and honestly if you didn't tell somebody they wouldn't have known it's Krunker, it's like a standalone game. Now with that said, if you want the browser that I use to play not only Krunker but all these games with high FPS and low lag then download Brave Browser for free, link in the description below. It's by far the best way to reduce lag and earn free money and cryptocurrency where you surf the web and play browser games. So if you want to try it out and really help support the channel, then make sure to install Brave Browser on PC and mobile by clicking the link in the description below. Build Now GG is the next evolution of Fortnite-like browser games, and it's actually pretty good. We've previously seen games like 1v1.io which were a little bare bones, but Build Now takes it to the next level with awesome gameplay, sick movement animations and great graphics. It's quick to get in game, either solo or in a party, and you get an assault rifle, shotgun and building blocks by your side. Build now mimics the feeling of Fortnite very well, and it's a perfect game to quickly train up your aim, even more so than 1v1.lol in my opinion. Graphics are just another element where this game shines. It's bright and colourful and has great detail on the characters, weapons and builds. On top of this, the animations are great and it really feels like there's some substance when you shoot and move. Next up we have AstroDud.io, and simply enough, this is Fall Guys in the browser. I've talked about games like this before, more specifically LolBeans.io, but AstroDud takes it one step further. That's by having great gameplay on top of great levels which are just fun to play, taking the essence of Fall Guys and Bro Falls with the long courses and crazy obstacles and getting it in the browser. The graphics are something to talk about as well, as they are pretty damn decent. It's bright, colourful and fun, and then matched with the well-designed user interface, it comes out to be a pretty good experience. Now I want to quickly mention this next game and that's Q1K3, a quake-like first-person shooter. This game features two levels, five types of enemies, three weapons, 30 different textures and it's only 13 kilobytes big and that's absolutely insane. A 3D third person shooter, great mechanics, great movement, it's a lot of fun, it's not the most flashy game but it's also just so so crazy how they've crammed so much into such a small game and given it was made in such a small amount of time for a competition it really is a well deserving game on this video. Super Rocket Monkey is the next game for today and it's such an awesome experience, one that every browser game fan should check out. The concept is straightforward, you play as a monkey with a powerful jetpack that needs to navigate through the level and reach the end. But things get difficult quickly as the jetpack is super fast and requires skill to control going from one piece of land to another, otherwise you'll smash into the rocks. 
So the gameplay is fantastic and of course the 2D art style complements it perfectly. The graphics are overall simple but effective in the best way possible. On top of this is the awesome music and sound effects that just rounds out the whole package and given this game was made for a game jam and thus made in only 10 days, it is absolutely crazy so make sure to check it out. Last Mage Standing is a cool twist on the Battle Royale genre, with a top-down fantasy spell-based angle where you as a mage need to be the last one standing. Now the first thing you notice is the incredible visuals. It has a 2D pixel look but with so much detail crammed in, from the characters to the buildings to the fireball attacks, visually this game is spot on. What is also really spot on is the gameplay, as it's super simple but really well done. Wazard the move, use your mouse to aim and fire, shift to dash, it's as simple as that. However, in this game, the depth comes from the characters. There are many to choose from and you choose before you hop in. And when you go and play with them, you'll get a special ability, but there's also more abilities that you can pick up during the actual game. Overall, it's a super fun and super quick game to play, but there's also lots of content that really go and have lots of fun. Tanuki Sunset Classic is a third person longboard skating game where players play as a raccoon skating downhill on a procedurally generated synthway themed road. In this game you drift your way around the narrow corners, fill up your bonus meter and try to gather as many points as you can. It's a weird game for sure but it is a lot of fun, especially because of the drifting where to get the highest score you really need to push your luck and go close to the walls and almost off the track, on top of all the near misses with the obstacles that's how you go and get the best score. Now the visuals are fantastic too and the synthwave music is a really nice addition but on top of all of that this game also supports Xbox 360 controller input alongside normal keyboard controls which is awesome to see. Eve.io is a game that has definitely got some people talking, as it's 2021's newest Halo-like browser first-person shooter game to get a really decent player base. I've covered this game a few times before and in that time from then to now there's been a little bit of drama with Krunker, but what I want to focus on today is how this game has progressed and that's something that should be highlighted. Gameplay wise, Eve.io is pretty decent. You jump around, shoot people with different guns and use abilities, you get what I mean. However, over the last few months they have added Battle Royale, Survival and Zombie Survival along with quite a few new maps which is great. And the game has been bolstered with new content to check out and I'm really happy it's progressing. Next up, we have Wolf Gun, and this is a pretty cool action shooter game. It's round after round of zombies you have to take out, and in between waves you can upgrade your weapons, health, and get special perks. Eventually, there are so many enemies, but when you kill enough of them, your rage ability will activate, so you can just run through them all and kill them in one hit. Extremely fun. Great graphics, great music, and just a great game overall. And that goes for a lot of games on itch.io. Comment below if you want more videos on them.